And another question we have is, what is the job interview process like? Um, so Aaron, could you tell us a little bit about what your job interview process looked like? Uh, so it started off with my first response, which was, uh, congratulations, we expect you to kind of move forward on the next portion of it. And then what they did next was they did a 30 minute phone call uh, with just the section and the individuals involved in that. And then my next interview after that was uh, kind of a Skype Zoom call. And then after that was the actual in-person uh, interview at that point. Now, the first few calls was just kind of more of uh, just figuring out who you are as a person rather than, hey, we've seen your CV, we've seen your resume. We just kind of want to get to know you, just the person behind the paper, the person behind the application. Uh, so that way, not only did it feel more personal, but they could also determine you know, the personalities to see how well it would work and fit with the rest of the group that we would be going with, rather than just on the hard evidence and fact of what you wrote down on the application. Uh, and then the final application process was uh, more so questions, not challenging, but more so hypotheticals, different situations, particularly involving integrity as well, because they want to see how well you hold up or how you would react to certain situations. Uh, there's also technical questions that were asked, uh, just to ensure that you at least somewhat had the wherewithal of what you were filling in for as well. And that was generally the process for you. All right. Um, and I assume it might be slightly different for, for you, Kelly. What, what was your interview process like? Um, well, mine was a while ago, but it was fairly similar. I'm actually a, a sworn deputy as well, which we don't have anymore at the lab, but everyone that was hired back when I was, was sworn. So we went through some different things, but, um, pretty similar as far as the interview process goes, but something else that you will have to do as part of hiring process for a forensic lab is you will have to go through a background check, pretty involved background, um, go through a polygraph, which is a lie detector test and there's a standard set of questions that applicants are asked um, you have to fill out a nice uh huge booklet full of answers before you do that um there's a psychological exam that you have to do and then sometimes there's a physical exam did you guys have to go through a physical i did when i was a deputy yeah so I, maybe that was just uh, i didn't do that okay and then yeah drug testing so it's quite an involved process and sometimes it can take months from the time you apply to when you'll actually get on the job whoa that's thorough 